So, hi, how are you? How's things, everyone? Um, so, my name is Jared Stapleton. Um, I currently work with Herc Software. Um, so, I'm just muting that. I currently have my phone connected as well. So, I'm going to show you, obviously, a different way of how the web portal would look, obviously, on a desktop, but also as well that you can have it pinned and saved to a mobile device for, for an Android device um, for your clients to access it. Okay. So, give me two seconds. I'm going to share the screen. Any questions that you may have, if you want to jot them down, um, and what I can do is I can actually answer them at the end, um, and we can go from there. Um, so we'll have questions and answers at the end. If you want to pop them into maybe the chat box, or you want to unmute yourself, completely up to you guys. So give me two seconds. Now, can you guys see my screen? So can let me know, please, and thank you. Yep, we can. Perfect. Um, so look, I suppose a couple of things, obviously, with the web portal itself, and uh, the good benefit of the web portal is it's allowing your customers to be able to actually or make place orders themselves, but most importantly, have like a self-service kind of checkout. Now, what that basically means is a lot of people here and, and kind of in general would, like, so let's say you're banking, you do a lot of your banking via an app, everything's online, you have your self-service kind of portal and checkout, okay? We are um, our Herbs, the web portal, Essentially, this is exactly what's going to happen. Okay, you're facilitating and giving your clients uh, more power to actually go and place orders, making it easy for them to actually go onto your website, place an order. But also, most importantly, it's able to see their exact pricing. Okay, so if they have special prices, so if I get, let's say, you can see their environment suppliers are bedding and um, linen. If I could get that at five euro, and it's ten euro for Sonia, it's fifteen euro for Paul, it's Fiber for Mark, for Joanne, whatever the case may be, I'm only seeing my unique pricing. Okay. From here, I'm going to be able to see the likes of my age debtors, my invoices, my previous orders. So I can place orders very simple and I can also see everything that's going on in my account at this point. All right. So as you can see here, to pop onto the web portal, very simple. What will happen is on your website, you're going to have um, your website as it is and you'll have a login feature. They click login. When they log in, they use their username and their password. It will bring them to here. Okay. Now, from here, exactly what you're going to see is you can categorize your products. You can have your banners up the top that, you know, you can see home heat and oil 10% off. Okay. For argument's sake, if I was to click onto the charcoal barbecue cell, I can drill down into this and it'll bring me into the list of the products that are linked to that. All right. If I was to click back, and if I scroll down as I'm going through here, the web portal, you can see it's kind of nice little features. Again, you can design this to have the look and feel the hell you like. If I pop into the auto mowers, I can pop into it. So I can have categories and I can have subcategories of that. So if I pop into the likes of the models, and from here I can see here's my product. I can see that it's in stock. So again, I can turn on the stock levels or I can turn off the stock levels. Okay, The pricing that we're seeing here, this is my unique pricing. Okay, so if there's special prices that are assigned to my account, I can have them here. If I had an option where I, for every, when I buy 10 from the 11th of normal, so I get a, a discount or a cheaper rate, you can have that option as well. All right. So if I drill down into the product, or I can simply just click add to cart, and that's it. It's added to the cart, nice and simple and, and kind of straightforward. If I was to pop in here into the product, you can see here you have your product images. Okay. So all of the product images and all of this rich text that you're going to see here, so all of this product information, this is all added into Insight in the background, okay? So when you do this once, it's going to facilitate and populate for yourself. So I'll show you exactly how that would look on the system as well in the back end. Down the very bottom, you can have related files and documents. So it could have, let's say, how tools or where to go and, and, and what to do um, or how to use. This could be YouTube videos, you can see there could be could be PDF documents, and it could be any type of information maybe related to the product. Okay, so for argument's sake, if it's a cake, it could be a how to on how to make the cake, let's say for argument's sake. All right. If I was to scroll back up to the top, as you can see here, I can see just add the cart and you can see my cart getting updated straight away. Nice and simple and very straightforward. Again, we want to make sure that when your customers are actually popular coming in here and they want to populate a product. It's really simple for them to actually set that up. Okay. So if I pop in here, very easy, straightforward. I can have multiple user fields if I want. And what a user field is basically just reference points. So I could have a reference, I could have a notes. And um, from here, I have a checkout. I can add in card details so that when I do check out, I can pay for the product straight away. 
or I can add it to an account. Okay, nice and simple and straightforward. So that's my product that's been added. And what's happened is your order number, sales order has been successfully placed. So what that's basically done is it's nailed on into Insight and it's given me an acknowledgement of this order has been placed. So again, a customer can pop on here at any time of the day, they can place an order for a product. Okay, and I'll show you again now in a second how it would actually look in the back end on, on Insight when the order would come in. If I was to pop up here, a couple of other features, which is obviously one of the most important ones, if I pop up here to summary, hit the little man and I click summary. Okay, so from here, what I was talking about earlier on and when I first started was you'd have the likes of, let's say, your age there. So it's a self-service checkout. So the key thing here is, um, everyone, is that your customer is able to see their information at a glance straight away. Click on the fingers, they can see it. Okay, they can see their currency, they have their, on the date, they have their balance, on analysis, they have their age status, they have the oldest due, last invoice, last payment. Okay. Up the top hand here on these little headings, you can tick on and tick off what headings you want to present. Okay. So for argument's sake, if you don't want the likes of invoices or you want the likes of payments populating, you can have them shown up there. If I was to go into recent products, I can see recent products that have been purchased. I can pull it back to last or the date. I can see what's actually been bought. And what's most important is I can actually see the product that I purchased. I can see the price and structure. So if there was any special prices again, I can see how much I paid for. The order, I can see what sales order number it was on. I can see what date and I can see how many I actually bought. From here, I can drill down into the sales order as well and it will populate for me. Okay, nice and simple and straightforward. This is how easy it is to access the information as a customer. So everyone will tend to have someone that say, pick up the phone and go, Hi, Sonia, can you send me on an invoice um, or a sales order from whatever it was on this date? Sonia can now redirect them right back to their web portal. They can log in and they can pop into, let's say, invoices or they can pop into reports and they can access all that information there. So it's nice and simple and straightforward. If I was to pop over here, I was to go into, I have the likes of reports, I have my invoices, I have my orders. You can see here straight away, um, I have my sales order here that I've created. If I populate the PDF, it pulls up the actual sales order for me. Okay, nice and simple again and straightforward. You can see that it's unposted. Okay, now if I was to close this down, I was to open it up. For an industry that may have, let's say, repeat repeating orders. Okay, so for argument, say, let's say every time you're going to come in and you're going to place the same order. What happens is to keep it nice and simple and straightforward, instead of you having to select multiple lists of products, I can simply pop in here and I can hit the little cart and automatically it's updated the cart for me. Okay, does everyone understand? It's, it's nice and simple and straightforward. And I think the key thing here is, is that you're looking for your clients to actually physically go and order your products. You want to make that as simple as possible. We've all been on the websites where we go to order some products. And if you click here and click there and do this and do that, and it takes way too long, and before you know it, you're just going, ah, you know, I forget about it. I don't need it. Okay, so with this, what this is going to allow us to do is do it nice and simple and straightforward and, 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 and quickly and effective. Can you right. change the delivery address? Sure. Yes, you can change the delivery address as well. We can pop in here. So you're a step ahead of me there, Sonia, on that one. <laughs> um, on, on this here, you can pop in, you can change the delivery address. If it's matching to the invoice address, I can click in here. If it's different, I can pop in and I can come in here, okay? I can also have multiple sites as well. So if I have different sites set up that I want to order from or I want to order to, I can have that arranged and I can have it populated up here as well from different sites that I'm going to be in. So shop at the Cork office and I have my customer up the top, all right? But it's to open up kind of an older kind of report side that I have. Just to show you, see the way there's multiple more, there's more headings here now. Okay. Again, this is just for, for demo purposes. It was to pop in and view, let's say, customer statements as well. I can have my customer statement, but I can also have pay account online. So I can actually have a link. And um, I think it's with Relax Payment. I'll get double, I'll get confirmation on that, Sonia, and I'll send it on to you that you can send out to your clients. Um, but what happens is they yeah, can Yeah, I'd say it's pay. Relix because we, we've linked yeah. with that in the background, so I'd say it is. Perfect. You can pop on to pay account online. And from here, what this allows you to do is the customer can pop online and they can pay money off their account. So again, we've made it easy to obviously the customers to order the products. 
And we've also made it very easy for the customers to pop down and pay. We all have the endpoint of customers where they're not so great at paying. It's trying to then trying to drive the different streams that they can actually pop on and, and do it nice and simple and straightforward. And um, with the likes of Herbs, um, obviously because it's integrated and it's one system, if you have your credit control system set up, um, and let's say someone's frozen, they won't be able to order any products or anything at all with that online. So again, everything when you have everything set up and in sight um, at the very start, it tends to make everything very much more simpler and straightforward. Okay. Um, so just a quick recap on our web portal, just from what we see here, just on the actual website itself. You, your website says the exact same. You're going to have a login on your website. You click login. The customer is going to enter in their username and password, okay, which you can set up on Insight for them. The username and they set up the password. What then happens is they log in. They have access to the products. They can see all their specific unique pricing. They can select the product. They can put it into their cart and they can order it. Okay. What happens is this then gives us an acknowledgement to say, okay, right, well, they've placed an order. And then from here, we'll go into Herbs for the next step. But the other option is it's more so your self service checkout um, on the cloud. You can have your likes of your kind of betray, you know, really, you have access to all your information. You can see your age status and you can see the likes of you want to add, you want to add money, pay money on the account. If you want to check your statements, if you want to see a recent order, if you want to repeat an order, you have access to do that. Okay. And um, if I was to mute that there just for one second, and if I was to open up web orders, so here's just one screen here of, of what you're seeing. Okay. So I've kept this nice and simple and straightforward. And I'm going to show it a little bit more in there. Okay. So if I was to pop into web orders, what I can do is you can see that they're grayed out at the moment. The reason why. These are grayed out at the moment is because they need to be approved, okay, and they need to change the posted. Okay. The main reason is is that when it comes in stock levels, if you don't have your stock levels checked up and have it linked, okay, you can have it that it just pops in onto this screen here. From here, I have my sales order. I have exactly what I've ordered. If I pop in and I refresh it, you can see the one that I've just created. Okay. From here, I have the product that I've actually ordered as well. Okay, so nice and simple and, and straightforward, okay, in terms of what we've done. In terms of the likes of, if I was to open up um, the product itself, okay, what you can actually see is if I pop over here to the likes of, uh, give me a second, customer web UI, I have the information that you're after seeing, I have the information entered in here, okay. I also have my pictures and I have my attachments added to it. So the pictures that you are seeing on the website. So when you set your product once, set your product up once, it's going to facilitate and pull through with the different streams that we have. Okay. If I was to cancel this down, and just to show you just on a different setup screen that we do have, is here be more with kind of a little bit more in-depth information. So you have the likes of let's say your web orders. And I can pop in, I can have a list of the web orders that are populated here. I can pop in and I can go approve and I can convert this then and move forward into a delivery document and then into a sales invoice. Okay. If I was to click back, I have the likes of my web categories. Okay. So when you're setting this up at the full, at the very first stage, you can see here, here's the product images here. Okay, here's your product information. If we can drill down into that, and I'll pull up here my product, product category, customers. And from here, what this allows me to do is it allows me to set everything up. Okay, so the key thing is when we're getting the setup, take our time, make sure we do everything correctly. Because then when it comes to it, the customer just has to log in and, and place the order for the products. And it's again, key thing is it's nice and simple and straightforward. Okay. From here, if I was to click back, I can pop into the likes of my product ledger card um, and I can see all of my products here populated. Okay, so I have my Columns on the left hand side, which you would have seen as the categories, and then within that, I have my products then as well. Okay, so what we've tend to do with Herbst is, is to keep everything really, really simple and straightforward, make it nice and simple for the customer to go on and actually place an order, to make a payment off their account, and to view their invoices and their statements, along with obviously clicking on repeat orders if it's the same order um, over and over again. From here, you have your web orders. So what happens is when that web, web order pops in, we can simply pop into web orders. We can see exactly what's after coming in via our web orders. We can hit the drop down and we can go from very to delivery docket. Okay. 
again, down the very bottom, I can have my stock level set up. So on this screen here, you can set up your different columns and you can have the information that you need to see when you need to see. So straight away, we can see what's in stock. I can see what the quantity is, what's asking for just, and from here, I can convert that to a delivery document for me to then to arrange for delivery. Okay. The next step then, obviously, from there it is, if anyone's using the likes of our route schedule, they can then obviously sort it out to routing and the scheduling for deliveries. And then obviously, if they're using the trucker app, they can populate and they can use the, the application on their phone, which again is it's going to allow you then to deliver it and collect the signature when the product is actually delivered to the customer. So Mark Brennan can have his diesel tractor delivered to him. He can get a, get a signature on it and that's it. Okay. And nice and simple and, and, and kind of straightforward. It kind of shows, obviously, because Herbs is an integrated system, it shows the levels that the more the products you do do use, the more kind of easy it is as it goes along. It, it makes kind of sense to kind of use different ones. All right. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop sharing on my computer. Um, I'm going to share it on the phone just to show you what can actually happen. So with the likes of customers here nowadays, a lot of customers will be using the likes of, let's say, the mobile phones. So they might pop onto, let's say, websites or they might have applications saved. All right, so if I was to pop in here, what I can do is I can pull over here. So as you can see up the very top, obviously look to the left, you can see with the cloud sales app. So if you've any sales guys on the road, you've access to the sales app. But there you can have insight concepts. So this is just the name of the, the demo portal. And so if I drill down into this here, then if I click read out here, give me a second. Here we go here. So here's your product. Here's your web portal. They log in. Straight away, I can have this saved. I can pop down here to the likes of my automobiles. Pop in to my model. And nice and simple, I'll just click plus. You can see it's populated down the very bottom with the cart. I could pop into the product, go through the images. And from here, as I scroll along, you can see the rich text. Obviously, that's been added. And then obviously, then the related files as well down the very bottom for the likes of, let's say, YouTube. It might be how to set it up or how to charge or how to use it and how to set up the different settings. And from here on the right-hand side, I can hit the drop down and I can see the different offices that I want to purchase for. And that's literally it. It's nice and simple and, and, and kind of straightforward. Um, I can pop up to the top. I have all of the information here for the different offices. And um, as I scroll back up, again, as you can see, very easy to use and, and, and very simple as we're going along. Um, you probably sound like a broken record and you're probably fed up with me saying simple, but that's kind of very key. You want your customers to be able to pop on and place an order very easy and simple. The harder it is, the more chances they're not going to do it, um, which then drives a phone call into you. And whereas this is now allowing them to see the statements, their invoices, repeat orders, place orders, and see all of their information and even pay money off the account. And um, I suppose that's kind of your your, your web portal um, view. Is anyone any questions at all? I have a few. Of course I would. <laughs> it's really good, yeah. right? I think, as you said, it's so simple. It's so easy. Um, yeah. And the way it's just so seamless is the main thing. Um, yeah. The related files and links that you had at the bottom, are they your attachments that you have within the yeah. customer's page? Is that what that is? Yes. Yes. Okay. And those attachments have to link to somewhere anyway as well, don't they? Yeah. So that they'd be, let's say, the different pictures, or if you have the URL, you have the URLs then saved as well. So when you're setting it up, the likes of the implementations and porn as we're going along, but but that's straightforward enough. Cool. I have two more questions. The sales orders yeah. come in as unposted. I'm assuming that's just a rule you have. They don't necessarily have to be that for other clients. They could decide no, what way no. they want to manage it. Yeah, again, it, it's up to you. I suppose the big thing is, is that when it comes in, the reason why I have it set up as unposted is I don't have maybe stock level set up. So maybe my stock isn't correct. Or maybe, you know, I want to make sure that if it's a restaurant business, let's say, so to speak, and the order, at, let's say multiple orders are placed late at night, and they finished their work in the restaurant, they've gone on and they've ordered all the products from me. It's 1 a.m. What happens is that comes in as one post. And when I come in and I start my job, then the next morning I'm clicking in, post them, and then click convert, and I change them over. So that's the reason for that. Yeah. 
cool. Um, and the view that you have, right? Yeah. Could it be different view for different customers who purchase this? Say, like, say, I don't want to see, I don't want to show that on mine. Um, I don't want to show that. But another customer may want to not show other things. Or is it fairly standard on what is actually displayed? Or, or can you pick and choose what forms you're displaying? Cool. And did you say is this linked with Shopify or something like that? No, it's, it's, it's not linked with Shopify. Um, so this would basically be you'll have your website right here. So let's say your website's just... Oh, so it's, yeah, it's your website. Okay, it's an extension of your website. Yeah. And what happens is in the background then, obviously, you can you can populate from there. You yeah. can have it if you do pop on that they don't have to have an account. They can just place an order and it will populate in here as, as one post. They'll just set up the account. Cool. Fabulous. Love it. Yeah, now you have access. Now you, you you can pick and choose. So on the products itself, I can actually choose what product I want to be basically approved, what what I want to show on, on the portal. Obviously, some clients are going to have maybe private label, but maybe some products that they can show. So what happens is, is you can show what exactly what you need to see. 100%. And it's another form of, of, of revenue that I think the way everything's going to go since COVID, it's allowing kind of more people to be able to access your, your products basically a lot yeah. easier. Um, yeah. Instead of just having to pick up the phone or send an email or having a sales guy pop out, it, it's nice and simple. And, and to be honest, everyone orders products online, so everyone buys stuff online. Yeah. So why not for your business? You know, it, it, it makes a lot of sense, especially with you can see at the top of like, the charcoal barbecue sale. You know, they pop in and there's a special offer on. It's it, it makes it very simple, and especially if it's a trade account where you can see their own price and their unique pricing structures. So everything's linked to them. It's very unique. It's your, you know, it's kind of like you're banking online. It's for you. It's about you. It's it's your details and your information. Um, but yeah, look, listen, everyone. Thanks for for obviously taking the time. Um, and if you still have any questions at all, don't hesitate to, to give me a shout or contact me. Okay.